Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean a Honda GCV 160 or a GCV 190 carburetor. So this carburetor is off of a Honda, uh, Troy built lawnmower with a uh, Honda engine. So without further ado, we'll just get into it. So the first thing I do is I kind of spray off the outside to get any loose debris off so that it doesn't contaminate the inside of the carburetor and you can even take a, a cloth or a paper towel or whatever and, and wipe you know some of the dirt and, and grime off just so that you're you're not uh, in danger of contaminating the inside of the carburetor once you clean it so basically there that is uh, the, I kind of cleaned off the outside then you want to take a 10 millimeter wrench and undo the bull nut. And there you have, there's a lot of varnish in this one. So next we'll be removing the float pin. So that pin right there. Take that out. And sometimes if it doesn't come out, you can use a, uh, it, you can use like a 1 16th inch uh, punch and you can tap it out or just push it out with the punch. Next, we'll be able to take the needle and the float out. And as you can see here, the needle here has a rubber tip on the end and that's to shut off the gas, uh, flow of gas when the uh, level in the bowl gets to a certain level, you know, a certain height. So that's that. And inside here, so down in there, there is, there is the jet. So you want to take a screwdriver and generally you want to find a screwdriver without the wings. So a lot of screwdrivers have, uh, are wider. They have a wide section. They're narrow, then wide, then narrow. You want to find one that's kind of straight. Or you can grind one that's straight like that. And they have special carburetor jet uh, screwdrivers as well to help with, with uh, getting these things out without stripping them. Um, because sometimes they're... There we go. Got a nice crack there. And so we will try and take this jet out. And this is the part that you really want to clean pretty good. There we go. And this jet is supposed to have a very tiny hole through the center of it. Focus. Focus. And there you can kind of see it many times and that hole looks plugged. I don't see any light through it. I don't see any blue of the uh, paper towel under there. So I think that's, yep, yeah, it's clogged. We're clogged under there. Look at that. That's clogged. So this uh, thing will never, would never have run. Um, next, you can you want to get the emulsion tube out. So take a screwdriver and stick it. Uh, let's see, maybe this side would be better. So the emulsion tube sticks up through the bottom of the carb from the uh, float bowl all the way up. It's that brass thing right there. You want to. This one is pretty gummy. You want to push that down. And there we go. I got it. I got to push down a little bit, but it's really sticky in there. So I don't think it's just going to fall out. Yours may just fall out. If it doesn't, you have to kind of work at it, get it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let me work on let me work on getting that emulsion tube out of there. 
and I will bring you back once I have pushed it down. So I'm using a little pick like this to try and a right angle pick to try and push it down further. So I'll bring you back when, when that's out. I got the emulsion tube out. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is the part that sticks through the uh, carburetor body into the, the um, air intake. And this is the part down here where the jet presses up against. And it's full of a whole bunch of little holes and they should go from uh, one side to the other and they should be all clear. So these look fairly good. And so, but we'll clean them anyway. I'll show you how to clean those. All right, so we got the emulsion tube, we got the jet out, we got the um, float and needle out. And there is one screw up here on the top. It's a Phillips screw. Pull that out. This is, I believe, part of the idle circuit. There's a passage, there's like a jet down in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe. But there's like a, a, a jet, a passage down there. Get that with the carb cleaner. And that pretty much, that pretty much takes care of the disassembly of the carburetor itself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with this. I'm going to start spraying this down, spray it out in here, get all of that uh, varnish and everything as much as I can off of there, wipe it. Clearly this has been, bad gas has been sitting here for a long time because that's super, super gummy. You can see I can actually, it's like sticker residue. So I'm going to see if I can remove as much of that as I can. After that, bring you back. I got it cleaned up in there. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray out the inside of the, the carb body. Make sure that all these butterfly uh, valves, they are free. The choke one is pretty sticky. So it's supposed to really bring back. It kind of gets stuck at, at at full travel. So I'm going to work on that a little bit. I'm going to spray some carburetor cleaner down in here, down into the pivot points up in there and just work it until it loosens up. You can you can pull these you can pull them off or you can pull these out. Um, you can actually grab it with the pliers and just yank on it and uh, yank on uh, so when it's like that, you can grab it with the pliers and yank it out. And uh, then you can pull the uh, then you can pull the lever out and clean in there. Generally that's not necessary. Still a little sticky. Getting better though. I'll work on it. Anyway, so let's continue cleaning uh, the carburetor. I don't know if you can see it. There, yeah, you can. Right there. Right there where the uh, butterfly is, there are three little tiny holes. And you want to get those clear. So that's connected to the idle passage. So you can blow down here and watch your eyes when you do this. So if I, if I blow down in there, you might be able to see it come out those three holes. Do you see that? Comes out. Comes out those three little holes. And you can also... Uh, let me get to different, uh, hold on a second. So I took one of these pipettes that goes on the end of a carb cleaner uh, can, and I bent a right angle in it, and you can actually blow back through those little three little holes. So that's what I'm going to do in here. So I'm going to just uh, take this right angle and blow it back, blow the carb cleaner back through. Get the idle passages really clear. Change the uh, change the tip and blow back through forward. Like that. 
So, yeah, just do that a few times and you should be good to go with the body of the carb. And again, I said that, uh, I'm going to see if I can work on this. This is, it's not bad actually. It's pretty good now. Mm, still sticks a little bit. Hopefully, that'll be okay. This choke lever just still doesn't feel quite right. And there might be something funky going on with the spring up there. And I see that it's kind of knurled up there, so I don't think we are the first ones to be in here. So you can just, with the pliers, grab it and pull it out like that. And then this arm should just come out with a spring and the spring will decompress. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think that's right. I think that, yeah, the spring is supposed to be up here like that. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, so yeah, someone has been in here before us. So we'll put that back, hook that spring around, then we want to wind it. Maybe once like that, that feels about right. Oops. Popped again, all right, there we go. Wind it once. I think it's I think it's supposed to be like that. Let's stick this stick this thing back in here. Remember which way it went? Uh, it must have gone that way. Okay. That's much better. That feels much better. And I think I see how it slipped off. This thing wants to walk off like that. All right, how's that? Satisfied? I am. So the needle with the rubber float tip, I took that out of the pan. Um, I don't want that really sitting in the carb cleaner. It can cause the uh, tip to swell and, and deform and stuff like that. So I took it out and I put it on the uh, towel over here. Um, at this point, what do you want to work on? Let's get the, let's get the uh, jet cleaned up. So the jet's been sitting in here in this kind of carb cleaner. I'm going to take a Paper towel, kind of wipe it off. I see some green on it. That means there's been some corrosion that's happened. It's probably all right. And next, I'm going to take... Yeah, there's a lot of corrosion inside there. I'm going to take these welding tip cleaners. And you can use a wire for this, like a stiff wire. But these are welding tip cleaners. And I bought these um, pretty much for this purpose. So you take them... Um, and you find one that, uh, that's too big, that one, that'll fit through. See, is that too big? Eh, no, nope, that's just right. Let's see, you want to clean, this one's really corroded, so you really want to clean this out like that. Hey, it's green in there, so... And do that. I'm going to actually also kind of scrape some of this. And you see that? There's a lot of corrosion and goo in there. So let me work on that. I'm going to pick at this and try and clear that out in there. And then I'm going to spray it off with carb cleaner. You don't need to watch me pick it green goo. So I'll bring you back once that's done. Looks much better in there. You can at least see through it, and there is not so much green goop in there. It's still kind of pitted, it looks like. Um, I couldn't see that actually, but on the camera, I can actually see that. So um, I think that I think it'll work. Most of the green goop is gone. I don't think it's going to get clogged again. But what you want to do is you want to like basically take it, and you can spray right through it. And you see that jet coming out. That's what you want to see. So 
Oh, I'll call the jet good. Um, now let's do the same thing for the emulsion tube. And what you want to do is you want to just take your wire, or in this case my welding tip cleaners, and I want to find one of the small ones that will actually fit through it. So that one seems like it it fits through. So you just want to poke through each one of these. Then you can kind of hold your finger over the end and if you spray up through it, it should spray out all of those. You should get like a star pattern and it will make a mess everywhere. And Watch your eyes, kind of point it away from your eyes or wear safety glasses or something like that. So if you, maybe you can see this. Let's shoot some juice up there. Can you see that? That's kind of what you want to see. So that, I think, is working right. I'm working on cleaning up the bowl, and the bowl is pretty messy, but you can see that, like, powder down there. It's kind of like a whitish powder, and that's what ethanol fuel leaves. So if you leave ethanol fuel, the residue and the gunk that it, it leaves in the, in the bowl after it's gone, after the fuel evaporates and goes wherever it goes, is this kind of white powdery stuff and it's real hard to get that out of your carb bowl. It's almost like a corrosion. So I'm going to work on that, bring you back. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be good enough. Good enough. It'll work. No big chunks or anything like that. So at this point we can start uh, reassembling the carburetor. Um, so what I'm going to do is look down in there. The seat looks pretty good down there. I don't see a lot of goop. I'll just spray that off and I'm going to go blow that out with compressed air. Alright, time for reassembly. First thing I'm going to do is put this idle screw back in so no, nothing falls down in there. No crap. So, got that. Okay, got the uh, carb cleaner, the tray out of the way. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start reassembly. Reassembly, uh, we're going to put in the needle into the float. Let's see, it goes just like that. Can you see? So it hooks in there, just like that. And then this is going to drop, the needle and the float are going to drop in the bowl right there, or the carb body right there. We slide the pin back through. Launch that across the, the bench. There we go. There we go. That's about right. And float should be sitting right about level. It's good. Stick the emulsion tube back in. So this side down. And we can poke that down. And that should now be sticking through inside, which it is. Don't know if you can see that, but it is. Next we put the jet back in. Don't crank down too hard, just just barely snug. All right, um, next, bowl. Put that in like that.
and we're done. Now I want to test the um, float for operation. So when it's upside down, the float should be pressing against the needle. Uh, the float should be pressing the needle against the seat, and uh, you should not be able to blow through the fuel inlet. When you hold it right, right side up, you should be able to blow. So I'm going to put a little piece of fuel line there. This is a little bit uh, that this is a little bit smaller than the normal. So I'm going to blow through there while it's down like this. I should be able to blow through. I can. I'm going to turn it upside down and I should not be able to blow through. I cannot. So this is functioning properly. If when you put this back on the machine, the machine is still running uh, kind of surging or hunting or not running, you know, it's going, the uh, RPM is going up and down. What you can do is you can take the jet back out and you can get a micro drill bit set like this and you can see which drill fits through the jet just barely and you can go one size up and then drill the jet so you can widen the jet if it's not running right right now I would take the carburetor back apart and redo the cleaning and make sure that all those passages are clear everything is clear the jet is clear all the emulsion tube all of that the idle circuit all of that is clear and clean before you go and drill the jet that the drilling the jet is a, a last resort if you want to see the uh, full video of the lawnmower that this came off of and you want to see it running and you want to see everything that went into taking uh, what it took to get it working, be sure to click on the link in the upper right hand corner and um, you can see the video there. Thanks for joining me on this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you learned how to uh, clean your carburetor and get your uh, mower or outdoor power equipment working again. And if you like these kinds of videos and you want to see more, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and um, I'll see you on the next one.